Hi, I'm Chris Powell, the teacher of P5P. I've been really impressed with how well the children have settled back into class and I've really enjoyed getting to know them. I've also been really impressed with how well the kids have adjusted to the new normal ways of doing things too. And I'm really looking forward to the year ahead. Hi, I'm Leslie Davis. I'm Premier 5D's class teacher and I'm very glad that we are all back in school finally. I'm looking forward to a really exciting year ahead with your children. Um, they have shown so much enthusiasm for learning so far. I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Looking forward to seeing you all hopefully at some point over the year. Welcome to P5. Our learning assistants are Miss Bray and Miss Tights and our specialist teacher is Mr Short who teaches PE and outdoor learning to each P5 class on Tuesdays. For literacy, we have Eric, everybody reading in class. We'll be reading at least once a week with the class teacher. And we'll have differentiated spelling words and tasks. We'll include comprehension skills. We'll have writing using big writing and BCOP. And our IDL literacy will be used in the context of our topics. At home, continue to encourage your child to read, read, read. This could be anything from comic books, newspapers, information books and fabulous fiction. Unfortunately, we can't send books home, but Epic and Fresh News will be available at home too, and we plan to set home learning activities using these resources. Numeracy and Maths. There is a continued emphasis on big maths throughout the school. We will be focusing on this in our daily lessons. Big maths includes wider maths such as shape, time, data, handling and measurement and we will enrich the learning using a variety of resources. Multiplication tables continue to practice at home and in school. Some dog to continue at home and in class. As some practical activities are restricted at the moment, the children would benefit from cooking and measuring activities at home. This helps to develop concepts such as fractions, number intervals and time to name but a few. We like to encourage higher order thinking skills. So for example, if the children are reading a text, we'd like them to remember and understand what they're reading, but then to go further by applying, analysing, evaluating, and creating something new. Inquiry learning. Through our IDL topics, the children will acquire skills to use throughout their learning. For example, literacy and numeracy skills, critical thinking research, communication and collaboration skills. They will be given the opportunity to lead their own learning within each IDL topic, which will hopefully lead to a deeper understanding and a more authentic action. Here's an example of an inquiry cycle. Um, when starting a new topic, we might uh, provide activities so that the kids can tune in and then they find out some more, they can sort out their information and then take it further themselves by finding things that they uh, find more interesting um, and from that they would draw conclusions and reflect on what they have found out in order to take action. The cycle may go back and forward as the children find out new things and they want to find out more and more in order to take action. Interdisciplinary topics. So our first is how we improve our learning. Relationships and friendships. Sustainability and impact of rainforests. Diversity influences Scottish society. Key influential religious figures. Changing structures of the earth. Impact of the Victorian Empire. Social media, safety and consent. And human body systems interconnect. Class organisation. Our P and outdoor learning days are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. However, as we hope to do outdoor learning on other days as well, your child should be dressed for outdoor learning and PE every day. Please check the weather and dress appropriately. Please ensure your child has a named water bottle. School books, equipment and stationery stay in school and no items should be brought from home other than snack, lunch and water bottles. However, a small bag can be brought in to keep some of the items in as well. Home learning. Your child is expected to read for at least 10 minutes four times a week. Spelling words will be posted on learning journals along with a spelling activity grid. Ask your child to choose mild, spicy or hot words to use in two, two spelling activities each week. Regularly practice number skills such as add, subtract, multiply and divide and use anything from playing cards to car number plates. 
Following recipes is also a great way of applying maths concepts such as fractions, number intervals, time and conversions. Some dog accounts are provided for use at home and children can practice for about an hour a week. Home learning is to provide motivation, connection and enrichment for your child's learning in school. Please upload photos, videos and files to your child's learning journal. Home learning will start from the 25th of September. Please don't send any home learning into school with your child. Do you have any skills you would like to share with P5? In the past, we've had parents who have come into class to share their skills and expertise. Please do let us know if you would like to do this, although it will more likely be an online presentation this year. Thank you to all of the parents who have already offered their expertise through the Getting to Know You forms. If you would still like to share your Getting to Know You form with us, please email it directly. Good news, from the 2nd of October, we will be able to have music lessons, indoor PE lessons, and some clubs will also be able to resume. More details will follow shortly. Thank you for filling in the form and sending in your questions for Meet the Teacher. Mrs Donaldson has answered most of them, uh, but here are a few that we've seen that are specific to Primary 5. How are we dealing with the impact uh, lockdown has had on friendships and focus? Well, our first few weeks have focused on health and well-being activities to help us identify different emotions we've all been feeling and to build up a toolbox of strategies to help ourselves and others. We've used growth mindset, zones of regulation and the rshp.scot website, friends and friendship resource to support. Are children's different abilities being supported? Well, we have Miss Bray, Miss Tights, to help support learners in class. Uh, Miss Nicholl and Miss Hughes have started assessing some individual learners and we have been carrying out whole class assessments in order to identify gaps and needs post lockdown. Targeted groups will start soon and we will continue to differentiate activities and outcomes in class in order to support and extend learning. You also asked um, how you will find out about your own child's learning, lots of questions there. Um, but as previously mentioned, we have been assessing various aspects of your child's learning. We will meet to talk about individual children at our virtual parent consultations. You'll get more information about that soon, um, but it will be an online meeting. You asked how will we support our child in case they have to self-isolate. Um, well, we've made a two-week isolation learning pack in the Primary 5 folder on Teams. We also share our weekly plan with you, which you can refer to if you want to try a few activities at home. You asked how the school day is structured. Well, apart from being restricted with some resources and movement around the school, our school day is fairly normal and consists of literacy, maths, health and well-being, topic, expressive arts, PE and outdoor learning activities as usual. We are certainly going to have a busy year. We hope your child has an enjoyable ride with us on their learning journey. We always expect the children to aim high, not only with their superpowers, but with their developing growth mindset and self-regulation attitudes and behaviours. Please do contact us via the office if you have any concerns.